Hello, hello. Just arrived from the takeout. Yeah, I seem to have redeveloped some sort of uh, some sort of like uh, aversion towards crowds. Like I uh, don't like being in crowd. Unlike two years ago, uh, unlike uh, the pre-pandemic era. Anyway, here it is. Look spicy. Yeah, I'm gonna try it and see how it compares to the other chicken sandwich. Uh, it looks, it feels smaller than uh, the, jo the the other ones based on you know, I just eyeballing it. Uh, it has chicken and it has uh, mayo and uh, lettuce. Yeah, so let's give it a try. Yeah. All new McDonald's not spicy here in the Philippines. So. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Trying to get a feel of the taste. There's a lot of mayonnaise. I'm not gonna lie, kind of tastes like. In terms of the spice, it somewhat tastes like KFC's zinger for some reason, but it's much flatter. It's less bulkier than Zinger, based on what I remember. I'm trying to find a distinguishing factor. Other than the lots and lots of mayo, I feel like it tastes like KFC Zinger, so. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Like, it's like, not too disappointed, but at the same time, it's not... Uh, not really new or exciting or something. There you go. Oh, on to the next chicken uh, takeout for Jollibee. For the Jollibee chicken sandwich. Here is the chicken sandwich from Jollibee. It's definitely a bit bigger than the spicy one from uh, McDonald's. And yeah, and this is one. This one is not spicy, so, so yeah, we can compare it. Let's compare it, right? Okay, here we go. Hmm, tastes different. Mm, the chicken is softer. Juicier, okay. Of course, it's not spicy, but I like it. Uh, there's some sauce, but not too much sauce. Uh, what else? You can taste the chicken. The bun is also soft. It's very. Uh, it's not. I think it's a different type of bun. Compared to the buns used for the yum burgers they have. I don't know, I just noticed that. Yeah, the, the chicken is really like it's not hard on the teeth or something or the or your gums. Like it doesn't require much effort to just bite it.
which I like, by the way. It has a different texture compared to the no, McDonald's one. Can I just jolly be win against McDonald's? I'm sorry, yeah. The sauce that they use um it's different as well. It's not the mayo typical mayo. And I think it's fine if it doesn't have the lettuce. So it just makes you want to focus more on the on the bun and the chicken. The union of the bun and the chicken. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Good job, Jollibee. I'm gonna slowly enjoy this now. So on to the next chicken sandwich burger thing. This time, KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. And this is for... Zinger. Right? Because I mentioned earlier that uh, the muck spicy tasted like a zinger, and um, we'll see what it tastes like. Look at that bun action over there. It has uh, classic uh, mayo, lettuce, and chicken. And from what I can tell, the chicken has kind of shrunk maybe it's loaded with mayo and let's let's try to remember what this tastes like so this is like my first ever like Z the zinger was my first chicken burger or anything of that iteration uh that i tasted so like i'm a bit biased by nostalgia purposes but yeah well we'll see because i have Never got a chance to compare this with other like chicken sandwich or chicken burgers. So, whoops. And let's taste it like so. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes like. The zinger, um, yeah, I, they maintain the taste through the years, which is, which is cool. But the lettuce and mayo combo for the zinger is better than the max spicy. Um, yeah, so it, it tastes like um, it does taste like how I remember it. So, yeah, that is just the zinger. And um, before I finish this, let's let's go for the verdict, right? I would say, for nostalgia purposes, I I I, I pick the zinger. Um, but in terms of like the best like chicken sandwich burger comp, yeah, versus these uh, other brands. I would pick Jollibee, uh, Jollibee's chicken sandwich because you know, number one, the bun is very soft. Uh, compared to the zinger, yeah, the 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 bun. There's something about that uh, that bread, that muffin bread. I, I don't know what what they they call it. So you also a unique taste where there's there's not much uh, topping, like it's just the sauce. And the chicken, and the chicken is very juicy, soft, and very soft, easy to bite through. So that's, I mean, simplicity is key. That's that's I think that's the aim of the chicken sandwich from Jollibee, right? Uh, the Max Spicy is like, unfortunately, I would have to say it's like a discount, discount, uh, zinger. But it's actually more expensive. <laughs> so price wise, right? the spicy is the most expensive. Cause it's new, maybe, maybe, maybe that's the thing. Um, at least here in the Philippines, like 
the cheapest one among the three is the zinger it's actually like one two five pesos solo without fries and drinks um it's one one two to five and then uh, the jollibee chicken sandwich is about one four nine 149 pesos so like yeah that's the the, the pr price wise the jollibee chicken sandwich is in the middle uh, but yeah my pick is uh, the jollibee chicken sandwich that's my choice so i'm not sure if if you guys feel the same but yeah i wanted the zinger to 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 win but yeah, there's something about that new product from Jollibee. So that's my verdict. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll try to finish this off camera because I've been eating chicken for one for, within 24 hours. <laughs> so, so I have like, I'm, I'm, it's like I'm at I'm at the state of uh, I'm tired of chicken already. <laughs> but I'll finish this and uh, see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace. I need new pants because I'm fat now. After two years of lockdown, I'm fat, fatty, 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 fat.